Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to get Tomb Raider 2 to work on PC nicely, if you will. Um, I'm going to show you a patch called TR2 Main, and then I'll also show you how to version swap for speedrunners. Um, I recommend if you're playing casually to use TR2 Main as it makes the game so smooth. Um, you can customize it as well, and you can also add some HD textures, which I will show. And it also has native controller support, so you won't need to do anything with it. Right, I will show TR2 main first. So we want to install the game, first of all. Let that go. Happy days. Right, we want to go to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. And then your files will come up here. From here, what I will say is to right-click Tomb 2 and create a shortcut. This is going to make a setup window when you launch it i only i launch it from the folder personally but it's this will be completely up to you so we want to go to properties on the shortcut we made and in the target we want to just press the right arrow key a space a hyphen and the word set up so the setup window that will now show this is how i make it windowed um and everything like that you could disable fmbs whatever you want to do Right, so in the first line of the description will be the link to the patch. You will be coming to the TR Forums website. Um, this will give you like a rundown of what everything is, anything that you're not familiar with, and so on and so on. You want to click from this link. Now, I've, got, I've already got this downloaded, but you want to right-click this and click download, download anyway, whatever it says, and then you have it downloaded. Um, and then you'll end up with a raw file looking... I can get rid of Steam, looking like this here. Uh, what we want to do is double click on it and just drag everything that's in here over to your TR2 folder. It will ask you to replace some files. Just click replace file and destination. You're good to go. Now come back into the shortcut. And if you're using a controller, you want to use the native controller support, come to controls, whatever your controller is, make sure it's in there and make sure to enable joystick. After that, I will show, here's my controller on screen, hit my buttons and everything. Uh, I want to open the game. Cool, open the game. Now, my controller is just going to work automatically. You can change your controls in here should you want to, like your vibration, your light bar, your, sorry, your light bar, all your buttons, whatever you want to do. And select the detail, whatever. Uh, so just to show that this all works. Welcome back. After that grueling business last year, I decided to build this assault course to hone my skills. Jump in. And some new ones. I'm twisting. Whatever you want to do, everything works, okay? So that is it if you just want to play the game. Vanilla, casual, done. There is an extra options folder in here. Now this is like where all the tweaks come in. So for example, in controls, you could change how the buttons look. If they, if you want Xbox buttons or PlayStation buttons or just numeric, so on. Uh, walk to sidestep and all the things. Have a look in these folders. I will say with the gameplay bug fixes here, the low ceiling jump fix, I cannot recommend you enable it enough. Because with Lara and like the vanilla Steam game, when you like, if you like jump backwards or jump sideways or even just jump in general with low ceiling, she does like this weird stumble. And it's kind of annoying. The running M16 damage fix. Um, I'll try and explain this the best I can. Basically, it was supposed to. I might be wrong. It was supposed to be designed that when you're running with the M16, the damage was supposed to be decreased. If you want that, then you would enable this option. So it'll give you like a registry. I'm just going to... If you don't want that and you want the M16 damage to be the same regardless, you just double click it. Click yes. Click OK. Have a look around with these, and whatever your personal preference is, just go for it. I will put a list to how mine looks in the description for this, but again, personal preference. Also with this version, um, we can get HD textures. So in the second link of the description, you'll come to here. This is the HD textures by Victor XD. I want to click download, and download anyway. Like I said, I already have this downloaded, but that's how you download it. Um, you'll then get a raw folder looking like this. TR2 Enhanced Textures. So you want to open that. Double click this and then drag the textures folder into your TR2 game. Just let that do its work. 
brilliant. So what this does now, if this folder is named textures and this folder is named text pages, then all you gotta do is come back into the game. And straight away you'll see like her passport looks high uh, textured, so does the TR2 logo. For example, come into Lara's home. Welcome bang, back. New textures, After right? That grueling business last year, if you I don't to build this assault course to Yeah, alright. If you don't want to use those textures, just rename the textures folder to anything but the word textures. For me, I just add an extra S on the end of it and then it goes back to vanilla. Also, another cool thing with this, you can have a custom inventory background. Um, I will show I'll be vain and use my own logo. Um, but open the textures folder and make a square image. And we're just going to call it background. Just the word background. But make sure the image is a square. So this is how it actually looks, right? After that, just come back into the game. And you'll see when I go to my inventory. Welcome back. It's a After custom inventory. Last year. So that is TR2 main. Now, just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to delete everything that's in here. And I'm now going to show you the UK box version, which is the fastest version for speed running. So when I come back into Steam, I'm just going to click manage, properties, local files, verify integrity. Let that go. Anytime today. Perfect. All right, so we want to go back to browse local files. I'm going to put this here. Now, in the third line of the description will be a link to the version swapper, which is this link here. You want to click that, click version swapper.zip. Again, I've already got it downloaded, but that's where you download it from. Um, let's minimize my Steam. Hello, Lara. Go to my desktop, get rid of that, and then you'll have the TR2 version swapper. The quickest way to do this is just drag the RAW file in here, right click the RAW file, and click extract to TR2 version swapper. And then boom, you have a folder called the version swapper. You can get rid of that now. Um, I will say, make another shortcut for the setup window. Um, especially with this one, because you will need a third party application, whether it's DS4 Windows, Joy2 Key, or big picture mode for steam so we want to go back into the shortcut that's in here and we want to go to controls make sure now this is unticked okay click okay now i'm actually going to disable the fmvs for the purpose of this video because it janks up your screen so disable fmv is cool you can get rid of it you can delete it you could do what you want with it i'm just going to do an extra v on this so it doesn't recognize it come to the version swapper tr2 version swapper you have this window here now, like I said, the fastest version is the UK box. However, you might be able to do some things on the EPC or the multi patch. But personally, UK box is the best way to go. We want to click three. I always say no for this patch. I'm not quite entirely sure what it is, but I always say no to it. And the music fix always put yes, because then the volume of the sound will be perfectly fine. So now with this, I have a program called DS4 Windows which is this. I'll try and put a link to the description and also a link to my profile in there. So it's all set up, but you can basically use this DS4 Windows as the new one does not work and just change the buttons to however you want them, okay? Uh, yep, TR2. So we want to open the game. Now, my controller should work with my custom controls that I've made. So for example, we're just gonna come down here, do a quick show. I'm gonna show the old weapons. I'm basically, with this version, I've got the hotkeys set on my D-pad. Oh, not my D-pad, sorry. My, um, my analog sticks. So we've got left for pistols, up for shotgun, right for autos, down for Uzis, uh, right left stick, right stick, Push left for grenade launcher, right stick push up for M16, and then right stick right <laughs> is small med, right stick down is large med, my L3 is to save game, and my right and my R3 is for a flare. That is pretty much all you need to know on how to get this game to work nicely. If there's any questions, feel free to leave a comment or DM me on Discord. 
Um, I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Rico. Link in the description, of course. Plug in. Um, but yeah, if there's any questions, I'll also pull, just leave a comment or something like that. And I'll try and help as much as I can. That's pretty much all you need to know with this version. So I hope it helped. And uh, yeah. Good luck, everyone. Take care.